What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another episode of 10 new things in FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. In the last time we did this a couple of days ago, I'll leave the link in the description below, we took a look at 10 things that we would love to see in FIFA 17. I asked in that video for you guys to put in the comment section and tweet me with more ideas for things that you would love to see in FIFA 17 and we'll do another video in a few days. Well, it has been a few days and here we are with 10 more new things that could potentially be in FIFA 17. There's some great stuff here. Most of it is from you guys. One of the things in there is uh, my, my own thing that I would just love to see in there. And, and a lot of the stuff that you guys suggested was obviously iterated uh, by me as well, by my own sentiments. Yeah, you know, like I absolutely love so much of the stuff that you guys put in here. I've thought about a lot of it myself. If you want to see another version of this in another three or four days, just let me know in the comment section with your idea that you would love to see an ultimate team not in career mode or head to head or um, uh, pro clubs. I'm only looking at ultimate team stuff here, guys. So let me know in the comments with uh, your idea. Drop a thumbs up on this video. Let's try and smash 10,000 likes for this FIFA 17 new ideas video. And we're going to start with what you can see on the screen, and that is multiple consumables, both buying, applying, and selling. Um, you can see on the screen there, one of the biggest things that frustrates me in FIFA is the ability to not be able to put more than one thing on a person at one time. In this instance here, you've got Rashford there um, as his gold 77 Man United card with one contract and 99 fitness. If you've got a load of contracts and stuff in the club, you should be able to like click on the contract, apply a certain amount at a time because if like me on my road to glory, you've got like a whole bunch of bronze contracts. I would love to be able to apply like 30 bronze contracts at once to a gold player give him the 30 game boost rather than sit there x wait for it to apply it refreshes scroll back across to bronze x wait for it to apply refreshes scroll back across etc etc so applying multiple consumables at once would be great but then also as we move on to the next screen selling multiple consumables at once would be absolutely momentous in FIFA. It's such a non-entity of a thing to add to the game, but it would make things so much better. I've got so many consumables in my club, specifically contracts in my main club. I have literally like 13,000 contracts. Obviously the trade pile only goes up to a maximum of 100, but I would love to be able to pick the contract in my club, scroll up, set the item amount to 100, list them all for like, you know, the exact same price for the exact same duration, and just be done with it. It would really, really help out me for clearing my club. It would help out hoarders like me who then want to, you know, like if you hoard the first three months and you've just got thousands and thousands of consumables and then you're like, I really love to transfer these now into coins because I've got some time to do so. It would be really awesome if you could do it through this method rather than having to sit there and one at a time list, scroll down to the minimum list now, go again, do it again. It, it's so, so monotonous and it takes so long that something like this would be absolutely amazing in FIFA 17. Next up, recommended by one of you guys on Twitter, was a daily gift up to a cap. Now, almost every game ever has something like this that gives you something just for logging on every day. In FIFA, it could be something as little as 500 coins day one, 1K day two, 2K day three, 3K day four, and 5K day five, and then it hits a cap where you only get a, like, you know, let's say you log in five days in a row and you hit the main cap. For every day then thereafter, you then hit like a, a, a smaller cap or, you know, a smaller amount of uh, coins or a free untradeable pack or something for logging in every day. Literally, mo like almost every game that I play on my iPhone or, you know, NHL Ultimate Team has this, Madden Ultimate Team has this, where they reward you for just being there. And EA used to do this on the web app a long time ago, where especially when the game first comes out in certain periods of the year, like through Christmas and stuff, every day that you log onto the web app, you get a new gift. It ranged from a bronze pack to a contract pack to coins to uh, like, I think the best prize I ever saw was like a seven and a half K pack just for showing up. EA, give us more stuff like this. We would, a lot more people would probably turn the game on every day just to get the free gift which would probably in turn encourage them to actually play the game a little bit more because now, let's say you do get a thousand coins a day. You just get a thousand coins for showing up every day. Let's say they show up every day for 10, 15 days. All of a sudden they got 10, 15,000 coins. They can do something with that. They might be able to enter a draft, open a couple of packs, buy a few players. It would encourage them to play the game. Next up, we've got something which I don't necessarily understand why EA don't uh, kind of put it on 
like do this sort of thing and that would be an, like another freebie another thing another gift but a draft token once a week or even once a month for free uh, you get a draft token when you start the game but what better way to encourage people to play draft than to get them playing draft now it's 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 called a like it's called a um a leading a leading loser or something like that, uh, a lost leader um in like the the pub industry where basically well, obviously i used to run pubs and such you you promote something that you know you're going to lose money on to bring people in to spend money on the things that you know you're going to make money on so with ea if they say every single monday you get a free draft token you're going to log in every monday you're going to play that draft maybe you get lucky maybe you get unlucky but what it's going to do is going to get you on the game to potentially buy more fifa points to open packs or to buy more FIFA points to open draft tokens. But if they did it on Wednesdays, let's say Wednesday at 6 p.m. when the new team of the week comes out, you get a free draft token. So that means that Wednesday at 6 p.m. when there's a new team of the week and loads of new players in packs, everyone's on the game. What better thing for EA than everyone being on the game at the right time? A free draft token every week, every two weeks, every month would be fantastic to have in FIFA. Next up is the one thing that I kind of, I would love to see added back. Uh, th this is kind of like one of my, not, I don't want to say it's my idea because it's not my idea. It was actually already in the game previously. But in the World Cup game mode, guys, if you remember back a couple of years ago, you got a free player just for playing. Every time you played the game, at the end of the game, you got a free player pack and you got one player in it. Now, the World Cup mode, there was only like 500 and something players in the entire of the kind of uh, downloadable add-on. And all of the players were always untradeable. So if you packed Ronaldo and then you packed another Ronaldo, you just had to discard him. It was heartbreaking stuff. But it's the way the game was intended to be designed. In FIFA Ultimate Team, reward your players, EA. Reward the people that play the game. For those of us that have played thousands of games or even hundreds of games, if after every game, be it online or offline, win, lose or draw, you got an untradeable free player pack... Would you play the game more? Of course you would. It wouldn't matter if it was bronze, silver, gold or anything because it, it would just be great for your squad building. It would be great for first owner people. It would be great for people that just struggle in general to, to actually manage their coins properly and maintain the game properly that they know, hey, I've got this team. Let me go play three, four games with it. I'll get three, four players. I might get a bronze from the English League 3, a gold from the, the new Chinese League I might get a silver from Liga, La Liga and uh, another bronze from the French League. But hey, you've now got four new players that you can play with. You can build teams around them. You might get lucky and get an inform or a legend or a special card or, you know, a Ronaldo or, or a, a Bale or a Messi. But just knowing that you're going to get something at the end of every game that will actually benefit you would be huge. And making them untradeable would also be pretty damn big because it won't affect the market in any real way. Next up guys, we've got something that is actually on FUT Mobile and that is the player exchange thing. Um, I haven't actually seen it properly in, in person. I've seen a few videos on it. I've seen a few screenshots on Twitter and stuff of it. But the premise is that you offer up 10 of the like 10 people out of your club of varying degrees of uh, you know ratings or whatever and you get a player that's better rated so if you offered the game 10 80 rated players it would give you like an 84 rated player it might be a random 84 rated player it might be an inform like on the foot mobile people have actually got informs and really high rated legends and stuff like that from doing this so i would love to see this in fever because i have hundreds sometimes thousands of players in my club just sitting there doing nothing it would be awesome to condense trade up condense trade up let's say you get a whole bunch of bronze players like 60 rated you trade up 10 of them you get 164 rated you do that 10 more times you've now got 10 64 rated you trade all of them you get a 75 rated silver card what this does is it keeps the market alive and it gives value to the cards that currently have no value every bronze bronze player would now be worth something Every silver player, every low rated gold that never gets a game in FIFA would be worth something because they'd be used to, used in this trade engine to be able to trade up to better players, which in turn would benefit EA because it would encourage people to open more packs to get players to trade up to better players. It's a really cool feature on mobile and I think it would be amazing to have in the, the, the FIFA 17 game or just any version of FIFA. It would be amazing to have it on console. Next up guys, um, inform managers. Something we've talked about actually for a few years now uh, through my videos, through the forum, through Reddit that I've seen. 
Um, inform managers would be great. You know, players get informs, they get a boost. Managers get informs. What could you really do with them? There's actually quite a lot you could do with them. First of all, you could give them bigger contract bonuses. You know how, like, um, if you get as many, you know, you can get up to 50% contract bonus by the manager. They typically have plus three for contracts. Just give them, like, a plus eight or something. Boost that manager up. Also, you could give them chemistry boost. Right now, uh, a manager from the correct league or correct nation will give one chemistry to a person from that league or from that nation. So in this instance, Arsene Wenger is French, he's from the BPL. If you've got a French player in your team, they will get that one manager chem. If you've got a BPL player in your team, they will get that one manager chem. Why not have inform managers have the ability to give plus one no matter what? Kind of like how legend cards get chemistry no matter what. An inform manager, whether your player is from Spain, Brazil, Italy, the French League, the Spanish League, the Croatian League, the Japanese League. An inform manager will give that manager chem to all of the players no matter what. It'll be really good for helping with like team chemistry and, and creating teams and creativity within teams. Just because you know you're going to get that extra boost no matter what. And also another feature would be to give a bonus chem point as you can see on the screen there. So if for example that team is a full BPL team so they all already get the BPL manager chem from Wenger. They get the loyalty chem from uh, you know playing 10 games or being pack pulled. Give them an, another bonus point. So let's say you usually play players out of position. So you play, for example, Gareth Bale at striker as a right forward on seven chem because that's the most he can get. Well, an inform manager would boost him to eight chem. Something so small yet so simple and can have huge implications on how we build teams. Next up, guys, is something we have been asking for for years and it gets asked for the most and it's more stats more stats and more stats you can see on the screen a few things there but one of the biggest things I asked for is clean sheets for goalkeepers i don't know why we don't have clean sheets i have spoken to ea about this a couple of times before and they basically suggest that they just don't have the server space to record all the data for all the players but i kind of think that's a bit bullshit because when you think of games like uh, diablo which i play quite a lot or league of legends or for example they store sensational amounts of stats, attributes, facts, you know, ev everything you can imagine. They just store everything you can imagine and they have far, far higher um, things in the game to store numbers for. They've got so many characters, there's so many weapons for each character, so many hats for each character, there's so much of everything for everyone that storing all of these specific stats is a huge task and they manage to do it. So when EA say that they can't do it, I honestly don't think that's necessarily true. I don't necessarily think it's untrue either because why would they not do it? But I, I don't know why they don't do it. I don't know what the cause is for them not doing it. But I would love to see more stats. I would love to see man of the matches, clean sheets, minutes per goal, minutes per assist, shots per goal, passes per game, tackles per game. You know, anything you can think of. I'd love to see like win-loss ratio with a specific player in your team so let's say you've got a team where you've got wayne rooney at striker and he's played 10 games let it tell you how many of those games were wins because then you can judge for yourself okay when i've got rooney in the team i, I win 70 percent of my games when i've got sturridge as my striker i win 85 percent of my games boom you're gonna think let me keep using sturridge he works better for me stuff like that would be unreal in FIFA. Like, I'm, I don't just mean unreal, unreal. I mean, like, unreal. It would, like, for a lot of people, it would be a great reason to keep playing the game. You know, if, if you knew that, again, let's say you, you bring someone on the sub. Right now, if you play someone 100 games and bring them on just, like, with 15 minutes left every game, all it will say is they played 100 games for your club and they probably have, like, a really negligible amount of goals and assists. But if it showed that they actually came on 100 times as a sub, like, into the game and it had their minutes per game, average minutes per game, average minutes per goals, things like that. You can actually see how good they did within that time. I would love stuff like that in FIFA Ultimate Team. It would just make the game mode so much more coercive. Co yeah, coercive. Um, it would make it more interesting to play and it would really help you refine your team, your play style, and the sort of players that really work well for you. Like, you might find that you think you love Neymar at left forward because of the pace, the skill moves and such. 
but actually Sami and Azri outperforms him by way of stats. And the reason why is because Sami and Azri might just suit your playstyle better. So when you look at them on the face of things, you think, wow, Neymar, he's so good, he feels so great. Remember that wonder goal he scored for me? But then you look at Nasri and you think, well, actually, nasri has got me way more man of the matches, scores, you know, a goal every 68 minutes compared to a goal every 73 minutes of Neymar, gets a, an assist every 50 minutes compared to the assist of every 100 minutes of Neymar, Nasri's a better player. It would change the dynamics of how this game is played, how the market works, and how you build your teams. And it's something that has to be put into FIFA in the near future. Next up, guys, we've actually got three screens for this one uh, thing, and that is just better ability to search the transfer market. EA did a good job with upgrading this kind of area quite a few times over the last few years, but not a great job, and there's still much more room for improvement. One of the biggest things for me when looking for players is sorting uh, which version of the player I want. Like, Cristiano Ronaldo this year has 10 different versions of his card. You know what you can search for when you guys search for his card? Two versions of his card. You can search for a gold card or you can search for a special card. That's it. I want to be able to say I want to see how much this the 97 man of the match version goes for. So where it says player name and quality and such you should be able to change that to second in form, third in form, man of the match, I man of the match. You know basically sort, sort them by their actual card values so it's easier for you to find which version of which player you specifically want. I definitely think that needs to be in FIFA. Moving on, another one of the things in the search function is the fitness. Like, not being able to search for a squad fitness is stupid. I Like, how, how do EA sit there and think, you know what, people probably don't even search for fitness, so let's just bungle all together the squad fitness and the regular fitness. I don't want to do that. When I want to try and find the cheapest squad fitness card, it's hard because let's say it was 1500 coins if you put the maximum buy now to 1500 coins you're gonna get like 79 pages of the player fitness cards before you can see any of the squad fitness cards and it's a ridiculous feature to not have in the game and lastly just as the screen shows you there another one of the things on top of all the other stuff in the transfer market is like the managers and stuff it's so hard to find the right manager for you by league at, or, or finding the right stadium for you or finding the right ball for you finding the right kits like you can't even search between home away third classic and special kits like it's a ridiculous transfer market and it needs a huge overhaul so that it's much easier for us to use and is just predominantly more like more enjoyable to use i waste so much of my time on the transfer market unnecessarily looking for items that I just can't find because the search function isn't refinable enough. They need to update this. Next up, guys, we've got something which, again, I've actually asked for quite a lot in this, uh, you know, in in uh, in FIFA over the last couple of years, and that is two two things actually. First of all, is a skill move and weak foot upgrade for informs. For example, let's let's assume Marcus Rashford had a three-star weak foot. Let's say he scores an absolute banger with his weak foot that gets him an inform. Upgrade his weak foot for that inform. Not only would it again give massive, massive benefits that you might not have previously had with informs, it just makes sense. If a guy with four star skill moves scores an absolutely insane skill goal, give him five star skill moves on that inform. It's crazy easy, it would be so enjoyable, and even if to the point where somebody, you know, scores a skill goal with their weak foot, give them a skill move and weak foot upgrade. And one other thing that I would like to see is a pack filler, we already have attribute cards, which I don't think will go anywhere because they're good pack fillers for EA and, you know, they flood out the packs and kind of makes uh, makes it easier to give really crap players when you've got other stuff in there as well. Um, but I would love to see a weak foot and skill move um, attribute card, like something where, you know, a gold one is worth three games, a silver for two games and a bronze for one game. So you've got a plus one um, weak foot and a plus one skill move. You could pack it, you could buy it. So let's say, you know, you've got that striker that you love, like a cardi but you just can't do anything because of the two-star skill moves, you could keep whacking those three-star skill move upgrades on him and play with him with three-star skills throughout the games. I think it would be a massive benefit to the game. I think it would be a great feature to have, and I would definitely love it to see it in FIFA. Last but not least, guys, we've got something that has been heavily, heavily discussed to death in the FIFA community and something which I understand somewhat some reasons of why it's not in, 
but also I don't understand why it's not in and that is sets and when I say talk about sets, one of the first things EA said that they don't have the licensing for sets. They, they can't do it because there's too many licenses. And, um, you know, when they do it in Madden, it's one league or two leagues. It's easy to get the licenses for the players, for the teams, for the badges, etc., etc. But for FIFA, it's not that easy. However, they also say they don't have licensing for Champions League because Pez has that. Yet they release Team of the Group stage. They release I'm Out of the Matches for Champions League. Like... There are instances where they don't have licensing for certain things and they still do it. Why can't we see sets? Why can't we see sets that aren't even relevant to licenses? For example, a stadium set. You put in 10 stadiums that the game asked for that week, you get a special untradeable stadium that you can play in. Maybe the uh, the EA Sports um, Canadian head office in Vancouver. That stadium out the back there, it's not even a stadium, but that, that kind of pitch, boom. That's the one that you unlock. There's so many things they could do with sets that can allow you to just enjoy the game a bit more. You know, like trading in 10 bronze players will give you an untradeable, inform, rare bronze player. Things like that would be amazing. And I know, as I say, they say we can't do it. Licenses. I don't think that's true because they've, they've shown time and again that... Even though certain things have certain licenses, they still go out and do it. I think Pez also had licenses for the, the uh, European Championships, yet EA still dropped out Iron Man of the Matches every single game for the European Championships. So if Pez have got the licensing for that and EA is still dropping Iron Man of the Matches, what gives? There's room for something in FIFA to do with sets. But anyway guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it today, be sure to drop a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate all the support and feedback you're giving on the videos to the channel recently. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the new chem glitch that's been patched. Uh, you know, it's, I, I'm yet to play the game since the patch has come out, so I'm excited to go and play it and see how it goes. But for me guys, this is gonna be the end. Any more ideas that you'd love to see in FIFA, throw them in the comment section, and I'll make another video in another three or four days. But thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.